Hey, Clint, you missed five games with that neck issue, and you came back and had three hits. What clicked for you at the plate this afternoon? Had a lot of time to, you know, continue to watch some of my past at bats and try to find out how I can incorporate what I was doing well back then into what I'm trying to do today. And it felt good. I mean, I felt good from the jump. So I'm just glad to, you know, be in the lineup and try to come up big whenever I get the opportunity. What exactly was going on with your neck? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go into to too much detail. You know, there was something that, you know, I, I brought to the attention of the, the training staff. And, you know, we just went on a couple conversations to try to see what we need to do about it. We, we found a solution. And, you know, I was good enough to go out there today and, and perform well. It seemed like you were pretty upset that ball, uh, that home run ball. It seemed like you thought that you had a, a good shot at that. From your vantage point, did you think you could come down with that grab? I thought that I was going to get it. I think he just caught the ball, you know, uh, at the at a higher point than where I was at. I'm not sure. I haven't really got a good look at it, but I thought I was going to get it. I felt like I timed it pretty well, but you know, that ball was up for grabs for both of us, and he got it. Justin Shackle, please unmute. Clint, what's the biggest takeaway from playing as well as you guys did this weekend against a team like the White Sox? I think it, you know, goes to show that, you know, early in the season, a lot of people were panicking, but we weren't. Um, and, and there's a reason why in, in this series and the last, I don't know how many we've won in a row, you know, are a great example of, you know, what this team is capable of. And, you know, sometimes you just got to be patient. And you get the results that we're having right now. Go next to Brian Hope. Clint, let me just go back to the catch there for a second. You think in an empty ballpark, uh, you catch that ball? Maybe, maybe. I felt like I had a good shot at it. But like I said, you know, in the heat of the moment, I thought I was going to get it. But I haven't really got a good chance to look at it. But, you know, he came up with the catch and, and not me, unfortunately. Okay. And then in the ninth inning, um, you're 90 feet away on third base. What are you thinking when Judge comes up there? So right there, I'm, I'm, you know, trying to stay as close as I can to the bag, just in case Judge hits one of those 130 mile an hour rockets that he he throws up there every now and then. But, uh, you know, obviously Hendricks is a great pitcher. Judge is a great hitter. So in that moment, you're just hoping that the hitter prevails. And, and in our favor, you know, he threw four balls, and you know, Judge gave him one early in the count, and we uh, we won. So that's all that matters. Thank you, Brendan Cuddy. Please unmute. Clint, did the fan yell anything to you after that? Did he say sorry? They looked a little shell shocked after the play on replays. There was um, there was some colorful words being hurled at both uh, the guy that caught it and the girl that was with him afterwards. So I don't, I know that the the wife or girlfriend she was she was screaming back at other people. So they did, they weren't yelling anything at me.